Welcome to How to Rock Spirit's Sun Moon Alchemy series. This audio was compiled and recorded by Dustin Cormier, a Leo Ascendant Scorpio with Sagittarius Moon, born in the year of the Metal Ram. All the possible Western Sun and Moon sign combinations can be found and learned about here. This information is for educational purposes only. I do not own any of the following content. For more astrology lectures and my own Cosmic Consciousness audio lecture series, check out How to Rock Spirit's YouTube channel, where I rap about everything from philosophy and transpersonal psychology, to psychedelic spirituality, to tantric and occult mysticism, and even to Marx and Engels and the materialist sciences. See you there! Sun in a Water Sign Basically motivated by deep emotional yearnings and desires. Recharges energy through intense emotional experience and intimate involvement with people. Sun in Cancer. Experiences strength through nurturing, sensitive, mother-like qualities. Feels instinctive urge to protect one's ego. Builds inner self a nest from which it can safely radiate. Levels of vitality and creative energy depend on moods and so are difficult to maintain. Expresses self creatively through emotions and feels need to be recognized for sensitivity. Sense of individuality is expressed most clearly in a familiar, sheltered environment or situation. The moon sign and its element. These notes are also still from Stephen Arroyo's Chart Interpretation Handbook. The element of the moon sign represents an attunement from the past that manifests automatically a mode of feeling and being that one needs to be aware of in order to feel inwardly secure and at home with oneself. This element and experiences related to it feed your need to feel right about yourself. This element and experiences related to it feed your need to feel right about yourself. By such modes of self-expression, you are satisfying a deep inner need that can give stability to your entire personality. The moon's element also shows how you react instinctively to all experiences, with what energy you spontaneously adjust yourself to the flow of life. Moon in Water Signs Reacts to changing experiences with sensitivity and emotion. Feels comfortable with self when feelings are deeply involved. Moon in Cancer Reacts with sensitivity, sometimes oversensitivity, and with protectiveness towards self and others. Feels secure when nurturing and being nurtured by others. Natural sense of timing and ability to tune in to intuitions and emotional subtleties. Extremely sensitive to moods and reactions of others, often at the mercy of one's own moods. Can be overprotective of emotions. Strong memory of past emotions is retained forever, still coloring attitudes toward present situations. The following information comes from Isabel Hickey's Astrology, a Cosmic Science, copyright 1992 by Isabel M. Hickey Trust. Moon in Cancer. Note that this is the ruling position of the moon, as Cancer rules the moon. Too sensitive. Must not react to the feelings of those around them. Subject to moods. Easygoing and sociable. The need to mother others very strong. Everything experienced held in feeling memory. Introverted on subjective levels. Conservative. Operates in a deliberate social way. Can be carried away by tides of emotions. Far too sensitive in response to environment. Can be psychic. In a male chart, would attract a feminine more mother than mate. Sun, moon, alchemy. The elemental combinations of the sun sign and the moon sign. The following information comes from Charles and Susie Harvey's Sun Sign Moon Sign, copyright Charles and Susie Harvey 1994, again in 2003, first published by Aquarian 1994. Each Sun Moon type is a combination of elements. In the following descriptions of the element combinations, please remember that the pairing can be either way around. For example, a Fire Earth combination refers equally to Sun Fire Moon Earth as it does to Sun Earth Moon Fire. There will be subtle differences, but the dynamic is generally the same. The four pure types, with both sun and moon in the same element, most vividly express the element involved. Such an emphasis on one element also represents an imbalance, so such types are liable to swing into their complementary or opposite element. Water-water combinations. 
Water is the element of feelings and imagination, and the English language is full of water imagery, which is descriptive of this type. The strongly water type is able to get into the mainstream and go with the flow. They drink in life's experiences, and nothing washes over them. They can gush with feelings, quickly go misty with emotions, and dissolve into tears. Sentimental and nostalgic about the past, this type can wax lyrical about his longings for times gone by, as does the Anglo-Irish dramatist Oliver Goldsmith, Sun in Scorpio, Moon in Cancer. I love everything old. Old friends, old times, old manners, old books, old wine. This type can also at times be a wet blanket, especially to more boisterous fire types and restless air types. In politics, their compassionate natures incline them to be the caring and compassionate wets rather than the airy dries with their doctrinal purity. Hardier types may consider water individuals to be drips and still wet behind the ears. But still waters run deep, and the feeling strengths of the double water type give the capacity to empathize with others and to show caring concern for everyone in need. This individual also has a rich imagination and often the ability to get inside the skin of another. Hence the poetic, artistic, and theatrical talents often come easily. A confusion of personal boundaries is, however, an occupational hazard of the strongly watery type. They can be so sensitive that they become psychic sponges, picking up moods and emotional undercurrents in the environment, and unable to differentiate their own feelings and needs from those of others. This type wants emotional security and emotional food, and because the two do not always come together in equal doses, they can easily get hurt. If wounded, this person can withdraw into an icy silence, but once their feelings are recognized and addressed, their heart quickly melts and thaws out, and they are soon back in the flow of things. Shadow Side Swimming in the seas of subjectivity does not make it easy for double water types to engage in clearly reasoned arguments or objective judgments. They know how they personally feel about people or situations, and that is their reality, rather than a collection of objective facts which lead indubitably to a logical conclusion. Hence, the strongly watery individual tends to remain irrational when they think they are being rational. This type needs to learn how to think things through with more detachment. Yes, they may have had a bad experience with a Malaysian taxi driver, but does that really make all the Malaysian race bad? The double watery type is also prone to cling in relationships because they provide the arena for the emotional exchange, containment, and security that is so vital for this individual's well-being. This type often needs to learn that letting go of just a little and allowing loved ones more room for maneuver usually strengthens rather than jeopardizes a relationship. Male versus female. Water is undoubtedly a female-oriented element, and hence generally much easier in our society for females to handle than males. Whilst men can be sympathetic, caring, and compassionate, it is still not easy for men in the West to show their feelings or to allow themselves to be seen dissolving into tears. In consequence, Strongly watery men may actually swing into the opposite pole and become ultra-rational, detached, and unemotional to a degree that some would almost see as pathological. This can lead to men of this type, and some women, who take pride in showing no emotions and act only through reason. When this does happen, however, this type of polarized individual will always be found surrounded with highly emotional people and situations that act out the inner emotional life they find themselves unable to handle. This can be seen in the super rational husband with the hysterical wife, and the calm, reasonable psychologist who is deeply concerned in a supremely rational way to help those who have become confused and emotionally disturbed, quote unquote. The following observations about your sun-moon combination are drawn from insights gained from astrologer Jefferson Anderson's book, Sun Sign Moon Sign, an observation of many different individuals. The writing itself comes from Mantak Chia and William Yu Wei's Cosmic Astrology, copyright 2012 by North Star Trust, published by Destiny Books. Sun in Cancer, Moon in Cancer, The Bodyguard. The emotional sensitivity and depth of the Cancer, 
along with your astuteness and ability to erect stronger barriers between you and your environment at the same time as you become more sensitive, combine with your resourcefulness, intelligence, and refinement. You either withdraw deep inside your fortress or utilize your natural ability in the face of the aggressive and hostile world. You saw and dealt with the uncongenial world around you in your youth, which is probably a test. Through careful examination, you ascertained the most dependable and certain way to move through a very irregular world at that time. You held on to this habit once it was set in motion. The double cancer wants protection from the time of childhood until their old age. Nearly everything for them is self-protection. Building metaphorical castles to protect you and preparing your defenses occupies a lot of time. In dual points, this gives you huge weaknesses and terrific strengths. Your Cancer Sun is magnified along with the Cancer Moon. You keep a low profile and are humble in your lifestyle and interaction with others. You can have big swings of depression and high spirits with ebbing and flowing feelings and responses. You can, on one hand, have a deep understanding of the mood of people close to you, or, on the other hand, your overextended sensitivity may cause you to stave off people altogether. Phobias and fears of assorted varieties are also possible psychological results, but once dealt with, you can be very creative. You are astute at finance and have an excellent vision when it comes to business. A spiritual path may call you, because many Cancer Cancer people are quite religious. You move through life adapting your strategy and personality to handle the moment, even though you are active at all the times. Instinctively, you are aware of what others expect of you, and this makes you an excellent tactician and diplomat. There is nothing more fearful to you than vulnerability, so in a battle, you never go at an opponent straight on, but rather circuitously. Total withdrawal is possible if your environment is truly hostile or threatening, favoring complete closing off with others. That others do not care much about what you are hiding would probably surprise you. Your ego is actually the cause of your serious paranoia. A quick note from Charles and Susie Harvey's Sun Sign Moon Sign. Sun in Cancer, Moon in Cancer, your greatest strengths. Emotional perception and tenacity poetic imagination and expressiveness, excellent memory and intuitive economic sense, warm concern and devotion to family and friends. Your greatest weaknesses? Oversensitivity and moodiness, shyness and tendency to worry and sulk inside your shell, strong desire to be needed and appreciated, deep attachment to the way things were. Images for integration. A gosling peeks out of its shell as Mother Goose chases away the farm cat. A theatrical family performs a Midsummer Night's Dream out in their own garden.